Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do so by clicking the subscribe button below if you like what you see on today's video. So actually today's video um, comes from one of our viewers. I can't pronounce his name and it's in a different language and I'm not even sure if it's a name or not and I couldn't get it to translate through Google. So I'm really sorry that I couldn't uh, pronounce the name of the person, but they asked in the comments, which that's like my favorite section in the whole world to read. In the comments, he asked, how is a prosthesis made? And so I thought that's a really good question. And so I started doing some, you know, piling up some information from my prior knowledge and then reading and doing some research as well. And I thought this is going to be a huge topic. I don't have time just to do it all within one video. I feel like I could lose people here and there while doing that. And of course, I want you guys to all get the information um, the right way, the way that I can give it to you. Um, I am not an MD by any means, but I have been through these in, you know, incidences, so I have pretty good knowledge, and that's why I'm giving my knowledge to you. If you have both eyes and that's not something that you have a problem with, we also talk about metal within the body. Um, I do have between seven to nine i think metal plates now in the right side of my face orbital socket and through my jaw um i've had my mouth wired shut i have rods and i've had um i'm sorry titanium in my wrist and screws i have metal rods in my legs and then i have some beautiful titanium in my foot so we do talk about that as well um back injuries not off limits there i do have a curve in my upper left and my lower right and then a 16 inch curve in the middle of my back so i often um will you know do a lot of stretching and things like that and so i thought about doing another video on that but there is a video below on a five minute stretch in bed if you'd like to check that one out as well so the topic is how to make a prosthetic eye. I am going to make this into a series, so stay tuned. I will have the next video up. I wanna have it up tomorrow, which will be, Wednesday, Wednesday, okay, sorry, which will be Thursday. And so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna have a video Thursday and then we're just gonna start back on Tuesdays again as per usual. Um, I will show you my first prosthesis, my, my first prosthetic eye. I got mine, um, it looks like May of 2014. So I lost my eye the same year, February, 2014, February 9th. I got this one May, so it took a few months for them to make it. So it does take time if you're waiting on it. It sucks, but just wait a little longer because the first picture you take with your eye, it makes it, it makes it better. Even though it's not real, it makes you really smile. And especially if you, um, I at the time was dating somebody and they had never seen me with both eyes because they started dating me when I only had one, which that's really nice. Um, and then, so whenever he got to see me with two, it was just like really sweet, you know? So you gotta think of the good things that are gonna come out, the memories that are gonna come out of this. I mean, right now it's tragic, it's hard, but it will get better, I promise. Um, like I said, my name is Tanya. If you like what you see, please click that like button, please comment below and please click smash, punch, poke, flip, I don't care that subscribe button. And then if you really, really, truly love me and you want to be notified of all my notifications, click the bell icon below and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate and love you all and have a wonderful evening.